Hello! In this video tutorial, you will learn how to match colors from one camera to another using Color Target and 3D LUT Creator. Here are four images. They were sent by Michael. Special thanks to him. Two images were shot using a Canon 5D Mark III and the other two were shot using a Sony A7S II with different color profiles. As you can see, the Canon images have a strong contrast. We will use them as the reference. The Sony images were shot with a low contrast profile, and we will try to match them to the Canon colors. Let's load the Sony image to the program. I'll use this tool to work with the color target. There are many different types of color targets in this drop-down list. The standard colors of the patches will be automatically loaded when you choose a target. I will place the color target grid over the photograph with color checker. You can see the standard target colors here on the top panel. There are several color models available. For example, you can see colors in lab color model. So after I place the target grid, I can choose the tools which will be used for the color correction in this drop-down list. There are several options. Let's start with the white balance. When I press the match button, I only change the white balance. Color matrix or channel mixer. In this case, the color matrix will change to match the target colors as closely as possible to the reference colors. Keep in mind that the color matrix does not change the contrast of the image, so this method doesn't work here. Offsets plus color matrix. In this case, the offset of the black point will also change, but it will not be enough because we need to match a complex curve here, not just the offsets. Curves. In this case, the RGB curves will adjust the neutral patches. As you can see, the gray patches match the standard colors, but the colored patches don't. Curves plus color matrix. In this case, the curves are built first, and then the color matrix adjusts the color patches. The last two methods are 3D LUT and Curves plus 3D LUT. These two tools make up 3D LUT, which includes color correction for all patches. As a result, the color space is greatly distorted in the resulting 3D LUT to adjust each color individually. Hence, if your color target was shot incorrectly, for example, it has a shadow of your finger or a flare, or it was unevenly lit, all the errors will remain in the final correction and it will be inaccurate. So if you plan to use the last two modes, then you should try to shoot the color target with the maximum quality. So I choose Curves plus 3D LUT and click the Match button. As you can see, the neutral and colored patches match, but in this case, we matched this image to the standard colors of the color target. But we want to match the Sony image to the Canon colors. I load the Canon image as a reference. As you can see, the picture from the Canon still has much more contrast, and now I'll show you what to do in such cases. Let's load the Canon picture as a working image. I reset all the settings again and turn on the tool to work with the color target. In this case, I do not need the standard values of the target, but I need those that were obtained when shooting with the Canon. So I can keep this color target, and if I need a non-standard target, then I can just create it. I set six columns and four rows and place the grid over the target picture. Now I need to assign image colors to the patches. To do this, I choose Save in this drop-down menu and name the file Canon Standard. If we open the file in the notepad, we will see that it's just a text in which the color values in the lab color model are recorded for all 24 patches. It comes preloaded, so it is not necessary to load. As you can see, the colors are taken from the image. Now I load the Sony image, choose the color chart grid tool, and place it on top of the photo. the colors from the Canon stay loaded. If I restart the program, I can load them back from the file. 
I press the match button and get a contrast curve and external LUT. The curves match the contrast and the external LUT adjusts the colored patches. Here is the before and after. Let's compare with Canon. This is Sony. That is Canon. Here are two pictures we had, and these are the two we get. As you can see, they are very similar. Thus, with the help of the 3D LUT creator, you can not only match the camera's color to the standard target colors, but also match the color from one camera to the other. For example, in this case, if the Canon makes a very contrasting picture, and if I start to match the Canon picture to the standard color target, then I will have to get information from these shadows, and there will be a lot of noise and artifacts. That's all. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was useful for you. Put likes, subscribe to the channel, and join our Facebook community, where you'll find many things of interest. Bye!